FOSS Active Investigation is more than hands-on science. It is how science becomes accessible for all students. Students use science and engineering practices and cross-cutting concepts to construct explanations about real-world phenomena. These are the components of active investigation, although they don't always follow the same linear progression. 1. Context. Sharing, questioning, and planning. 2. Activity. Doing and observing. 3. Data management. Recording, organizing, and processing. And 4. Analysis. Discussing and writing explanations. To establish context, students share prior knowledge about a particular phenomenon through a discussion. Generally, a focus question is introduced. Students might plan a method to investigate the focus question, or one might be provided for them. What parts of the body did you observe on the land snail? What parts of their body did you see? And what were those parts doing? Okay. So first you're going to talk to your partner, then we'll share out. What did you observe? I observed the, the tentacles. The tentacles. Did you notice how many there were? How many did you observe? Four. The tentacles are not tentacles. They're actually eyes. How do you know? Because um, I did not see the eyes, so it must be on, on the tentacles. I'm going to show you a new material and we're going to look at what do the land snails do. So how do they use their bodies when they come in contact with something new? What the land snails do when we put a fence in front of them. During each FOSS activity, students conduct the investigation, often in collaborative groups. They observe their first-hand experiences with objects, organisms, and materials. This provides a common experience for all students. So why don't you hold up your fence? Can you hold it up? Can you hold and put it that, the snail down on the table and then observe. Does it? Oh, no, don't move the fence because you don't want to knock the snail by accident. Just hold it up and observe. What does it do when it gets to the fence? It's going to win. 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 It's going to Young students often use drawings to record their observations. Here, students are recording goldfish observations with support from the teacher. The most important part of active investigation is extracting meaning from data. This is done with students rather than for students. It requires student analysis, logic, discourse, prior knowledge, and scientific communication. Students explain phenomena, ask additional questions, answer the focus question, and provide evidence to support their thinking. I saw the land snails doing a lot of things, but I want to hear what you saw, what you observed the land snails doing. Um, we did um, a snail Olympics for, for the snails. And what did you observe the snails doing? Um, um, one snail won and one snail lost. What does it mean that they won? How did they win? Um, um, whoever gets up first and down um, last, um, and down first, um, gets to win, and whoever gets um, up last, and whoever gets down last, loses. Did you notice how they got there? What were they doing to get there? They were using their mucus. And where was their mucus coming from? Um, their foot. Their foot. So they were using their mucus on their foot. Two tortugas like fighting. Like, like one so was in the was it top. One was the in the top. The snails you mean. Yeah. You saw two snails fighting? What made you think they were fighting? Because one it was in the top, one it was bottom. The investigations guide for each module is designed to support students thinking through all aspects of active investigation with detailed instructional supports for the teacher.